will you believe? Amen. Amen. Let me give you another example. It just shows you how easily we want to believe what man says. As many of you know, I have had this little trial getting my tags for my car. Mm-hmm. And I had to go back to court uh, on Thursday. Now, when I was there in January, I was to- told very sternly, now, if you don't have your tags when you return, you will have to pay the fine. Now, what does that mean? If I don't have my tags when I return, what will I have to do? Okay. So what was my expectation walking in that building since I didn't have my tags? Okay. I have to pay the fine. I walked in fully expecting to have to pay the fine because that's what the law said. This is your second chance. If you don't produce the tags, you must pay the fine. So when she started saying, oh, let me give you more time. I didn't hear that. <laughs> She's actually saying, let me give you more time. I said, no, I need to pay a fine. Because I'd already programmed myself to do what they told me. Mm-hmm. Are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. She was giving me another extension. Mm-hmm. I could have received it. It was coming out of her mouth. I was, no, I got to pay a fine. And she looked at me like, <laughs> <laughs> You show it one more time. <laughs> I had already programmed myself that I had to pay the fine. Which means I discounted God completely. She didn't even argue. She didn't even... She said, oh, let me just give you more time. And I couldn't even... That didn't register. I'm like, what is she talking about? I got to pay the fine. <laughs> this is the same woman. It's not like I'm talking to a different person. It's the same person. But my mind won't even receive. That's why scripture says you won't even recognize when good mm-hmm. comes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. You won't even recognize when good comes. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I was just, it, it, it hit me immediately. <laughs> I, I, I like to say I was quick. I recognize, but no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was there to pay the fine. I got to pay. Whose report will you believe? Mm-hmm. When Psalm 18. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, verse um, 8 9. <clears throat> it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Thank you, Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, than to put confidence in the government of the United States, than to put confidence in the, in the government of the state of Georgia, than to put confidence in the state of Atlanta, than to put confidence in man. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Go to 146, Psalm 146. Just read scriptures that pretty much say all the same thing, but sometimes repetition is good. Look at verse 3 in Psalm 146. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Mm, mm, mm. That's pretty clear. <laughs> Go to uh, Isaiah chapter 2. Mm. And look at verse 22. Okay. Did I say Isaiah 2? Isaiah 2. Mm-hmm. Okay, just make sure. Mm-hmm. Verse 22. I thought I said the other thing. Cease ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils, for where it is he to be accounted of. What is God saying? Man will die. Why are you trusting him? Mm-hmm. Man's life is short. Mm-hmm. He doesn't know anything. Mm-hmm. But I'm eternal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Cease ye from man. Go to uh, chapter 30. Start reading verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, say the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, Egypt being represented the world, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, to strengthen themselves in the things of man, and to trust in the shadow 
of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. We are all, let's see, yep, I think we're all in this church, children of God. He dwells in us. Now think about it. God dwells in us. That's why I had to change what I was telling there. I said, wait a minute, I'm talking down low. We forget he's in us. I'm still looking for him up there. But he's in us. Lord? <laughs> How about looking up? He's in us. And just that shows you we forget that part. If I have God in me, and God knows everything, and time is irrelevant to God. How stupid is it to do anything without asking God? Mm -hmm. Talk about myself, because I do it often. <laughs> but man, I mean, just, gee, we, we, we carry God in us. How stupid it is to just make up your mind about anything. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Now, David, you said something, and, 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 and I'm, I'm going to highlight it. You said there's nothing too big or too small to ask the Lord. Well, how don't we all believe that? I think we have places in us, well, I, I can't ask the Lord about that. Why not? <laughs> it's not like he doesn't know you're thinking. Mm -hmm. You with me? Mm -hmm. To have that attitude is again showing unbelief. Mm -hmm. We don't believe God actually knows all our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Knows what we're thinking. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. So we think, oh, I, I could actually hide. Mm -hmm. like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm speaking to myself because like, both these instances this week just show me how much I was just trusting man and trusting my decision making and foolishness. Mm -hmm. Yet God can save us into that. And I started to think, if we don't correct this, standing there on Judgment Day, mm -hmm. and God said, now, now son, let's look up my people before they had me in them. Mm -hmm. He said, they actually have an excuse, son. Mm -hmm. They have an excuse. Say I wasn't in them. But y'all, uh, you had me in you. What means this bleeding of the sheep? Mm. <laughs> Are you with me? Mm. I, it just hit me so hard. I'm not going to have much of an excuse, am I? Mm -hmm. He said, no, you had me in you. So how can you say you didn't know? How can you say, when all I told you to do was just, just ask? Mm -hmm. Seek. Knock. And you want to stand here and, and, and get a buy? <laughs> Are you with me? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to happen. Further, we live in a generation where the Bible is act, it can be accessed electronically. Mm -hmm. We can do all kind of searching of the Bible. Mm -hmm. So as I would say, um, <clears throat> again, um, you, you could search this thing back and forth mm -hmm. electronically. Mm -hmm. You can find things Paul wish he knew. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, they know that. Because he couldn't search it the way you can. Mm -hmm. So again, <laughs> I showed him the thing when we stand there, and what he does, he flashes us, spending time on our iPods, mm -hmm. spending time on the internet, spending time on our computer. He said, now, now why would you search my word? Mm -hmm. You had all that great technology, but you didn't use it to search my word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You use it for me time. Mm -hmm. To do what you thought was right. Mm -hmm. I shudder to think, Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to answer that day when he says, what was the issue? Mm -hmm. He says, son, there the, the parts of the world where they can't even have church. Mm -hmm. But that's not where you are. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's, what's the excuse? Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. and, and, and we know from Isaiah 6, Isaiah's reaction when he gets before the God, he's like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm a man of unclean lips. Oh, I'm a man of unclean lips. So, no bravado we think now will be there. Hallelujah. Scripture already tells us, oh, every day is going to bow. Mm. Hallelujah. We, we're already in a position we're going to be in. Mm. Oh, Lord. He <laughs> <laughs> says, oh, son, it's kind of it's late. <laughs> it's kind of late for that. Mm. Hallelujah. It is the last day. Mm. All right? Excuses have nothing to do with the Lord. Mm. Yet, for us, for many people, excuses trump the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I put a study because whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Monday. Mm. Well, I could have studied. Yeah. Okay, that's Tuesday. Well, before you know it, you're back to another Monday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing that stopped you in there was excuses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 